scrub a dub dub what's in the dub what's going on my scrub scribers ace here and very exciting news you guys already know that the trailer popped and like it was super exciting like if you guys haven't seen it make sure to check that out but this is just a video on things that you guys may have missed in the trailer i've watched it through a couple times and i just have some things that i want to show you guys that you may have missed and you know it's important for you guys to know this uh, before the games come out just so you can have all the information uh, that's available for you guys so starting off right off the bat, the uh, Legends pops right in the beginning there, you know, it says new powerful legendaries coming like, or whatever, like new powerful legendaries. And uh, we have Solgaleo and Lunala, which actually confirm names and everything with that. That's super cool. Uh, you guys probably said like you saw the typings and everything, you know, the abilities, uh, basically like clear body for Solgaleo, uh, Psychic Steel. Now, uh, the thing I really want to talk about is the move Sun Steel Strike. That is uh, Solgaleo signature move. Now we saw this used against a Salamence, and when this hit and absolutely obliterated, like it just absolutely destroyed that Salamence, like that Salamence got destroyed, didn't even get a chance to drop a Draco, the thing was gone. Um, so the, uh, like the, uh, what do you call that, the animation after, or the text after says Salamence fainted, it didn't take super effective damage, it didn't take resisted damage. So that means Sunsteel Strike is not a fire type move, uh, which would, like was what we would kind of expect from the Sun Legendary. Um, but it's probably a steel type move. Uh, it, it also could be a psychic typing uh, because uh, neither dragon nor flying resists psychic. But I really expect it to be more steel just from the like the name of it, Sun Steel Strike. It, it just makes sense there. And then moving on to Linala's signature moon and Moongeist Beam. Now I told Vsing HB that this was going to be a beam move. He was like, meh, meh. And I was like, no, nah, this is a beam move. But I was right. Either way, enough flexing. Um, Moongeist Beam, uh, we saw this used against a Gengar, which actually took super effective damage against this. So, uh, realistically, we're probably expecting this to either be Psychic or Ghost, because this is going to, or it's super effective on a Gengar, which typings Ghost, Psy or ghost Poison. So, either of those would take super effective damage on it. Um, realistically, I expect this to be probably Psychic, because if you see here on the, um, the head of the um, Lunala on the startup animation, it gets a third eye appearing, uh, which like is very ubiquitous with Psychic. So, like Miracle Eye and everything, it just makes it just makes sense all of that. I could actually see this being a Psychic Fairy type move, uh, just because of the Moon type of thing, like with Moon Blast and everything. I could see that working. So maybe it's one of the first dual typing moves in this new generation. Uh, not really sure on that. I feel like it's more likely to be just Psychic, but it has the possibility. So I thought that was pretty cool. Now moving on to the next thing that we saw, they transition into um, this beautiful artwork here of the islands um, of the like uh, of the region, and I think that's so cool uh, because we actually, Leasing and I were talking about um, that this has like this has the potential to have so many islands. Like we only saw the one island um, with the uh, I think it's the top left one right up there with a little volcano on it. Uh, that's the first one we saw. Like. Um, and that's like that's where we, we were based actually no it's the one on the right yeah it's the top it's the top right one with the like the smoking one i think okay i'm not, I'm not really sure but regardless this confirms that uh you will be traveling between multiple islands and you guys can see the boats and everything swimming through and this is just going to be really cool and then we also get to see the professor uh whose name i will not attempt to pronounce because i am terrible with pronunciations but i was actually right that he is the professor these things was wrong you can take another L on that one. But he actually says uh, something about the region. He says Alola is a region made up of several islands, which like we learn, like we, we see from the map there. But it's cool that he just kind of gives that confirmation that we will be traveling throughout these uh, islands there. And then he says this, um, oh, that could be the reason uh, the region is chock full of nothing but rare Pokemon. Yeah. And that's, that's so exciting. Oh, that just, that gives me chills. Like, that, that makes me, like, have, like, the Ash animation thing where, like, I want to turn my hat backwards because, like, new rare Pokemon. That's so cool. So, like, we're going to have new Pokemon. Like, if you guys didn't already know, 7th generation. We're going to have new Pokemon. There's going to be, like, new Pokemon. There's going to be lots of, like, cool rare Pokemon that we haven't seen before. And I'm so excited about that. And then the next thing that uh, I actually wanted to look at um, is something that I want to give credit to Hoodlum Scrafty for noticing. He tweeted this out. You guys can uh, go check out his tweet and everything, and give him credit for all of this. Like I, I am basically just reporting what he he found here. This is this is all Hoodlum Scrafty. Uh, here on the um, 
the character sprites, you can actually see on their wrists, both of them, uh, that they have this, like, a Mega Evolution bracelet almost. Except if you compare it to the Mega Evolution bracelet from uh, X and Y, it doesn't have the Mega Stone in it. So there's just some type of bracelet that they have there. Uh, it's, I uh, can't really tell uh, from, like, what it is. It doesn't look like t to have a Mega Stone, but you can't tell, like, the emblem or anything on it really uh, from, like, just from these, these pictures here. But you can tell it's some type of bracelet. So this may be something with the burst uh, that everybody's been expecting. You know, uh, like Ash's Greninja and everything. And look at these people. They're wearing Crocs. I just noticed that. Like, they're like Croc kind of shoes. All right. Regardless. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that, that's that's super cool. Um, I, like, something you just may have missed. Because it's literally just like a watch on their wrist. And that's something that you may have missed there. And then, also, uh, everybody saw the Rotom there. Uh, you know, uh, the Rotom is going to be part of the Pokedex, but something you may have missed is that the Rotom in the Pokedex actually talks to you. It, uh, I have it here. It says, Zert, nice to meet you. Gentle on the goods, okay? And then later, it shows off in like a little side thing that you may have missed as well. It says a whole new way for Pokemon and Pokemon, or people in Pokemon to communicate. So it's going to be significant that this Rotom is going to be like your, your guide to knowing what Pokemon are talking like talking about like it's like Meowth in the anime where he kind of like is the translator and I think that's so cool and I think that there's a lot they could do with that and that's just like it's just a small tidbit of like how how cool everything could be so that's basically everything I have right now if I find anything else you know there will be other videos but I just wanted to bring this to you guys because I thought it was you know super cool and like I, I'm just really happy about this trailer it's so amazing but thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share this with your friends because maybe they missed some of this stuff too. And uh, have a good one. I'm out. Bye-bye.